Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. This is a poem about uh, I'm about to recite called Ashura, and it's in four parts. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad. Ashura, the sea to ink. If all the sea was turned to ink, and all the trees were turned to pen to write the praises of Hussein, we will have earned a drop within an ocean of the praise that he deserves. The light that God created from his light has been preserved. Within the spirit of Hussein, in blessed state sublime, within the twelve Imams, he is the third, his sons are nine. Within the spirit of the Prophet Adam was his light, with Hassan, Ali, Fatima, Muhammad in, in the sight of Adam, Allah showed them one by one, to him he felt the grief upon the fifth of all these lights for which he dwelt. To Karbala, the mind has wandered over time the sands of Karbala we breathe within our lungs, the mist of lands arising from Furat, the waves they lap the dust and wail, the name of Abul Fadl, Abbas, each wave it does exhale. This story is the one for which the earth cannot forget. Muharram has arrived, the season in our blood is set. So gather, sisters, brothers, once again the time arrives to recount the sacrifice of all who lost their lives against the evil of that time, oppressor and Yazid. Put the paper to the pen today and let it bleed. Through the Eyes, Part 1 Through the eyes of holy war, the world has been deceived, when holy war within itself has wretchedness become. The lender and the giver to its name is in disguise, behind the TV screen by proxy work is being done. Delve into the histories of time and Solomon and David and the prophets and the challenges they faced, the holy war that God had meant for them, it does exist, within the pure and holy soul, who sacrifice embraced. The scholar pious and the subject on this road he stands, believing in the stature of the ones who came before, the path it is a rope that starts from Adam on the way, Muhammad intercedes to show the challenges in store. The light is like a lamp that radiates into a path, a beacon for to follow when the night has covered ground, the hope within the soul for finding comfort from the cold. Within the way Muhammad shows the lost, he will be found. The loss for him who does believe that empire alone is the legacy the Prophet left will wander blind the good that he desires in this world is just a web. The afterlife he prays for in this life he'll never find. Deceit within the issue of inheritance for those who Allah gave inheritance, as mentioned in Qur'an, plays heavy on the shoulders of their spirit as we speak. The player tries to perpetrate the laws within Islam. Resulting in the challenges the world it has to face and none has been more challenged than the mother of the one whose piety like Mary on the earth has been esteemed, whose name is Fatima, the mother of Hussein, her son. The sacrifice she made within her life in standing for the truth, it was inherited by witnesses who swore they saw their very mother being crushed between the wall and nail that struck her down embedded in the burning door. Allegiance cannot be enforced except by God alone, and even then to Satan did my Lord he spare some time. Compulsion for the leader of the women of the earth to give allegiance to the man who'd kill her is a crime. Through the eyes of Hussein as a child, he understands the prophecy in store for him, his brother and his role. Through your eyes, deceit you must uncover in your time. If with your hand, you take the hand of Hussein in your soul. 
The Path, Part 2. The path toward the stricken soul of love and freedom true, ambition drives desire with each footstep to dismay. Wanton in the hope for this salvation we are crazed, yet joyous there is heaven in the tears that we display. Upon the third day of Shaban, the third Imam was born, the fifteenth of this month, the Saviour Mahdi came as well, summoned God, Yoshua, to this shrine in gold, entrenched, block and send your enemies afar to burn in hell. The root of revolution and the prophecy enjoined, with leadership in Ali, the foundation and the stone, the shoulders of Muhammad where Imamat takes its stance. Within the holy Kaaba, idols fall from off their throne. Those shoulders are the ones for which Hussein did also grace, within another masjid for the Ummah all to see. In Sajda does the Prophet wait the mount to take its leave. The world will know, he said, Hussein, he is a part of me. So much a part the angel Jibra'il descends to ask, what is this significance, the gathering, the five, beneath the blanket Yemeni, as Fatima narrates, what we narrate from her to keep our gatherings alive. So much a part the Christians of Najran they did expect a host of Arab armies as a forum for debate. But the army that Muhammad bought, it was Hussein, Fatima and Ali, Hassan, love to conquer hate. The letters of the Kufans and the call to what they saw in leadership as caliph like the ones they had before, which did include the first and second and the third for some, then Ali, in the list to hence bequest as number four, replies Hussein, it's not for them to make him an, um, an imam. Allah, he decides, and every lesson from the past is as clear as light to him. The Kufans will betray the given title Shia, having taken Ali last. The season of the Hajj arrives, Yazid has made his call. Hussein allegiance will not pay, his hand won't touch his hand. The precincts of the Kaaba, they are sacred and the blood that might be spilt, it must be spilt within another land. As he leaves Medina in the ghost of memories past, the grave of his own mother only he is now aware, amongst the mass of Muslims where she's buried and the pain of all of this departure in his heart, he keeps it there. The path that you are walking on, I want to walk with you, Hussein, in ecstasy I know that heaven lies within, the dust beneath your footsteps, May my parents for your life be sacrificed. Your servant calls to you within this hymn. The Lonely, part three. Lonely was Hussein upon the battlefield instilled within the depth of earth upon the land of Karbala. Are the records written for the witness that it is struggling to contain within, complaining, to Allah. Lonely is Hussein as Zainab wishes her farewell to the only brother she has left upon this earth. Come let me help the armour that is heavy in my hand upon your shoulders grieved like gold, weigh heavy in their worth. Your sister Zainab sees within your eyes the loss you took because the loss of both of my two sons within my heart, is not as weighty as the one delivered when your son, Ali Akbar's spirit, from his body did depart. The grip upon my clothes that pulls me back from moving forth, Zainab, tell Ruqayya to let go of them, I see. You know that as a child from heaven, Gabriel had sent garments, if these thieves could steal, would rip from off of me. Zainab, I am broken from the time my eldest boy, whose name was Ali, and who looked so much like Muhammad, 
the spare I pulled from out his chest, the blood that did arise, has drowned me in the sorrow of the greatest love I had. Brother, as you're leaving in the haze of all this blood, let me kiss the place upon your neck where from behind I somehow know the dagger, blade, will strike to take your life, though I will try to stop them with my voice, as you will find. The land it rose upon Zainab's request within her view, the massacre and last attempt for her to save his life, shimmer on the chest of Allah Hussein, he cruelly sat, then turned his body round to cut the neck with jagged knife. Within the eyes of Al-Hussein, the eyes of prophecy, they shine to blind the eyes of him who wants to cut the line of life within the vein of his own neck. He can't proceed. The angels grab the killer's arms in loyalty they bind. To the call of God, the angel Jibra'il resorts to tell the one for whom Quran it calls contented soul to let go of his life and that the spirits should let go. The angels, they still weep above that place of sheltered gold. Your head is on a spare, my brother, and Hazrat Abbas. His head, it kept on falling from its spare, and so they tied his head onto a horse. For this protector of our clan, each time he saw his Zainab tied in ropes, it killed his pride. Your day was Ashura Hussein, there is no day like yours. But Ashura for Sayyidah Sajjad was every day. The streets of Kufa and of Sham were killing him inside for every single footstep that we took along the way. Every time it rains in Karbala, my friends I cry. When lightning and then thunder strikes above his holy dome, the never-ending grief of human tragedies unite to gather at his resting place, for which they now call home. That Arba'in, the lightning struck, extending in its reach, the blinding strength, the shrine of Hazrat Abul Fadl Abbas, although the lonely spirit of his brother is not far, the river cries up to the sky for what had come to pass. There is no day like yours, Hussein, yet every single day, the spirit of your battle, in our hearts it does arise. I pull the reed unto the flame, the fire won't go out, the dust beneath your feet, Hussein, is where my heaven lies, the dust beneath your feet is where this beggar sits and cries. Part 4. The Currency of Time the currency of time, the weight, the sequence of events, the tears, the thousands they have cried through years that have gone by. Satan sat and watched it all, but Jesus lived for some. The Ummah then chose to forget one life to, to live a lie. Where was that Ali Muhammad we mentioned with our lips? Are the Muslims not aware, at least that it exists? Who watches all the guns that are sold off to kill the men, who for the sake of God will fight, though evil still persists? Where is your blood? Will you not share your tears with those who need your help as Jesus gave the life to others through his hands? The voice of sacrifice it echoes now within the ears of those who still remember Gandhi, MP Bobby Sands. The ink of our scholars is the blood within our veins. Come honour then with me, Muhammad Bakr Sadr Man. The people are still drowning in the writings of his pen. The warriors are dancing at the hanging of Saddam. Within the streets of Kufa where Hussein was once betrayed, the kingdom now belongs to Hazrat Muslim bin Aqil. The sons of Zahara will now inherit what the fools gave up upon the day the caliphate they tried to steal. The victory of Khaybar is the victory of Qusair. Within the modern day, don't tell me 
He who loves Ali doesn't share his spirit on the battlefield. I say, Muhammad meant the truth is still alive, and this you see. We are never blind, the lovers of a truth so pure, that struggles to come out of every evil lying scheme. Somewhere lies intelligence combined with sacrifice. The lie disguised as truth, it never looks like what it seems. The minor strikes, when Arthur Scargill in the 70s led them to rebellion in the face of Thatcher's laws, those families stood together, but the families that we are bringing up, her vengeance is still knocking at our doors. What more of an example do you want within this clan of Banu Hashim? In their unity they broke the might of all the caliphate the government itself imposed upon the puppet masses whilst one man was on the right. The voice of Zainab rings within the ears of every true woman who's a Shia of Ali and stands for what? The family laws our faith it does proclaim above the laws that Satan it presents to cheat the child of what it's got. The love a father has for his own children in this law of love that Karbala it does dictate through mercy bold a mother and a father and a wife, a boy and girl, for the sake of God they stood together, young and old. The currency of time, modernity upon this train, speeds along a bridge that seems it is about to break. One man is standing still, however, if you close your eyes and listen you might hear him, if your spirit is awake. Indeed, he is the Hussein of his time, this very earth, it owes a debt to him, my friends, who is the Mahdi, if he is not the twelfth Imam for whom you all await, if he is someone else, then who's Muhammad's family? And every day is Ashura for him, believe you me, the tears for what had happened then and now are very clear, you can hear it in the thunder of the skies, my man, he's asking for allegiance. Are you ready to adhere? The fire in the heart will always burn until the time oppressors bow or break their backs through punishment alone. Until the time my Imam shall arise, I have declared, aside from Karbala, I haven't any other home. The currency of time, I cannot fathom it alone. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. اللهم صل على محمد